Today we'll be talking about rheumatology and um, we'll be asking questions and providing answers for systemic lupus, drug-induced lupus, and scleroderma. Which antibodies are specific for the diagnosis of systematic lupus or tumatosis? The antibodies most specific for the diagnosis of systemic lupus erythematosus are anti-double strand antibody and anti-Smith antibody. Which antibody is always found in drug-induced lupus? Antihistone antibody is always found in drug-induced lupus. What is the most common pulmonary finding in the patient with lupus? The most common pulmonary findings is pleuritis. Other pulmonary findings include pleural effusion, pneumonitis, and pulmonary hypertension. What are some of the manifestations of antiphospholipid antibody syndrome? Some of the manifestations of antiphospholipid antibody syndrome are recurrent venous thrombosis, recurrent arterial thrombosis, recurrent abortions, thrombocytopenia, and levido reticularis. What is Nemesin tip test for lupus? One of the most sensitive tests for lupus is the ANA, or it is known as the anti-nuclear antibody test. If it's negative, lupus can be ruled out. What is the most common cause of death in a person with scleroderma? The most common cause of death in a person with scleroderma is pulmonary complications including pulmonary fibrosis and pulmonary hypertension. Which drugs are likely to cause drug-induced lupus? The drugs that are most likely to cause drug-induced lupus are hydralazine, isoniazid, and procainamide. Also, phenytoin, have been noted to do the same. Name the rash commonly associated with drug-induced lupus. The rash that is most commonly associated with drug-induced lupus is discoid rash. Which antibody is a specific for the diagnosis of limited scleroderma? The antibody that is specific for the diagnosis of limited scleroderma is anti-centromere antibody. What is the most common cause of death in patients with lupus? The most common cause of death in patients with lupus are opportunistic infections and renal failure. Which antibody is specific for the diagnosis of diffuse Scleroderma. The antibody that is specific for the diagnosis of diffuse scleroderma is the anti toposomerase antibody. Well, thanks for listening. And remember, you have not learned until you're able to explain. Have a good night.